some frags we bought and some frags we made from other corals we've grown. The one all the way to the right is our star polyp. It has blue in the middle. You can't see in this picture though, in this video. We also have to the left the bird's nest coral, which we love, love, love. We just took that, um, fragged it from this one up here. Very beautiful. That came when we first bought it was the size of a frag plug and now you as you could see the frag plug it's on it's like about three times that size and these Montipora frags down here they are unfortunately been infested with Montipora eating nudibranchs this used to be a big frag um, that we were growing and we had to dip it in um, me coral solution and we bought a six line wrasse to hopefully eat the nudibranchs but you know we're hopeful but you know not counting on it because they're really hard critters to get rid of they lay eggs on the bottom of the um, coral not on the tissue and the nudibranchs eat the tissue and kill the montipora and unfortunately they've been doing that with this one they might have done it with our season's greetings that died not too long ago um i think that they're doing it with some of our other montis hopefully they stay alive such as this one back here he spread out to the left um we fragged him and put him to the right so hopefully there's two chances of it being able to grow nudibranch free and then the little frag on the bottom right that we just recently got, hopefully he doesn't get that as well. Our other Montiporas we have are over here. This frag on the bottom right we've had for a while. It's been dying, unfortunately. We've tried moving it and leaving it in one spot, but it doesn't seem to like our tank. And the one up here on the top middle, is a frag we've had for a while as well. That one's doing good and crusting. It's just, um, it's a blue and red one. It's, I hope it doesn't have the nudibranchs as well. And then the one on the top left hand corner is kind of pink and green. You could see that one we bought from a coral show and it is, um, it wasn't doing too well and now it's coming back to life, thankfully. We also have this, um, green and red one and I'm sorry I don't know about the names right now of all of them um, but these are our Montes if anybody wants to write in the comments uh, the ones that I've shown so far that will be great yeah I really love this one and I hope it stays and lives um, we also have this red one over here That one seems to be doing healthy. It's doing its thing. It's encrusting. I'm going to zoom out again of the tank and I'll show you our other frags. And maybe if you're wondering um, what this is over here, we just, we, or with our little SpongeBob in there, we wanted to try something to get frags, um, to get the zinnias to frag without having them frag on big rocks so we tried to put a bunch of little rocks in this PVC tubing um, so hopefully that they would attach to the little rocks so we could glue them to the frag and so far it's been working for a few of them but for the ones left in here as you can see they are stuck to the PVC on the side of the wall so we'll have to figure out something else to do about that and those are for the zinnias that we're trying to trade in to the fish store because as you can see over here they just won't stop growing and they are spreading like a motherfucker and they will spread over your whole entire tank they will take the whole entire tank they will take over and so these frags we have up here are some pulsing zinnias that we fragged that we're hoping to trade soon and um, I know the quality is not that good here we go um, and these zoas are wild yes they are and they are beautiful we got some spray paint colored ones we got some 
regular green ones, they're also over here as well. And these ones are really pretty. Just like unbelievably beautiful from our Florida waters. And over here we have the spray paint ones in the back. And even some of them on this frag on the left. And then one of them is growing in between our recordia as you can see right there. We, um, I'm not sure what kind of fish we had last time I did a video, but now we have, I'll tell you what we have now. We just got a six line wrasse yesterday, so he might be hiding somewhere or eating. Oh, here he is in the corner. There he goes back there. He's hopefully eating our nudibranchs and eating all the pests and critters we do not want in the tank, you know. Um, hopefully he gets nice and full off of that and happy happy and all the other fish um, don't seem to mind him you know wrasses usually have a good atti um, um, attitude you know so fish don't really want to mess with them even though he's small he's smaller than all the other ones um, oh look the chorus wrasse he's going in the <laughs> little tube to eat all the little critters because I just moved the tube so probably moved around some stuff that was in the sand maybe some anthropods or something but we have the yellow, I mean the red chorus wrasse, name's Cory. To the left you could see the um, firefish, Walter. And you could see the royal grandma with the purple and yellow. We call her grandma, <laughs> after my grandma. And um, this is Miss Sunshine, Sunkiss, and this is a Antheus. She's super pretty, I love that fish. Um, also our huge fat damsel back here, he's a beast. He will eat all, everything. <laughs> um, then we have a white spot puffer, and he is somewhere over here, over there. And his name is Toby. Um, last time I showed, we did have these growing on the um, SpongeBob house. Um, right now, the SpongeBob house has a lot of um, hair algae on it and stuff, so we're going to scrape that all off and get rid of it. Unfortunately, we had a um, situation with that in our tank, um, so we had to take out all, everything, all the rocks, and rescape it and do everything new and, um, and scrape off all the algae off of everything. We still got a little bit, as you could see, um, but last time I showed, we had a little frag of um, star polyps on the top over here. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. And now it's grown to be a little afro for him. <laughs> and we also put some um, gorilla nipple zoas on his ear there. And they've grown a lot as well. There's plenty of them. And um, what else is new? What else is going on here? We had to take off a bunch of zinnias from this back wall over here. They were spreading. Probably being blown around in the pump. In the circulation. Um, oh, our Cythastria back there is growing really well, it's spreading really nicely on our rocks. Um, I love our yellow polyps back there underneath the Cythastria, they're really pretty. I love how they grow like a lot quickly and they have those long tentacle looking things. And also our mushrooms here, they were spreading last time I took a video and um, they have grown into three mouths so there's three mushrooms now um, you can see the other one is back there um, also our red zoas to the right there um, have been spreading a lot and doing really well um, we also have oh the yellow star polyps spread over here too which is really cool so now we got them in two different spots what else is going on or hammer coral, or I think that's what it is, or frog spawn. I'm not sure. It's um, still alive, but it's not been spreading really, not been getting much bigger. Our record ears are alive. The blue one's getting bigger. The yellow and green and the blue and green are... Um, the blue and green's getting a little bigger, but not the yellow and green. Oh, and it's unfortunately sucks over here. Um, flower pot, you could see on the top um that half of it's still alive but towards me um 
that unfortunately has died. Flower pots are really hard to take care of. We've learned from the people at the fish store, their expert advice. Um, we got these mushrooms back here going in the shade because they were, weren't doing too good with too much light. They were like melting, so we figured, you know, from the light, so they needed to be in the shade. So what else? I wish it was not, right now it's, okay, there we go. It was blurry for a second. Also our lagoon tank over here is doing really well. You know, got a whole bunch of mangroves in it, a um, bunch of zinnias in it, a little bit of zoa, some anemone, um, tons and tons of copie pots. I wish I would have cleaned the front glass to show you. Maybe we could see them over here. Hold on. You see the little copie pods just everywhere. You could see tons of them, hundreds of them, thousands of them, and they have been just growing like crazy. They're feeding everything, feeding everything in this lagoon tank. They're just making the system work better. Um, they're cleaning the system. I love it. I can't believe how much there are, how many. And all the zinnias over here that we've taken out of there, we didn't want to kill really, so we're giving them new life over here until we trade them to the fish store. The, um, all of our mangroves are growing really healthy, really happy. And we'll go down here to our refugium sump, and it is also has some mangroves in it that are doing really well. Also, um, we just cleaned this out, so the rocks are nice and clean. The sand bed, the bed, um, the floor is clean. There's no detritus on the floor of the sand bed. Well, there's no sand in there, but of the rocks. And our carbon filter, or, um, overflow from the lagoon tank, our brine shrimp that we're keeping live with um, air, air stone. All right guys, well that's the update of our 40 gallon breeder reef tank. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment. Any questions or any comments, welcome. I just am in love with these zoas. I'm gonna show you one last time that we have harvested. They're beautiful. Okay, and if anybody also has a problem with Monty Pora eating nudibranchs, wants to leave a comment, I will read it. We're really interested in trying to get rid of these critters. We love our Monty Poras. We, we love them the most. Well, we love all corals. But. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.